Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I hope you're off to an awesome start today. It's so good to see you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And this morning, I'm just gonna humbly request that you just sit back and allow me to share a sacred story with you. And it's a sacred story about what I believe so many of us need to know today. Have you noticed in your own life or people around you that you care about this insidious level, so subtle, but my goodness, it's ever present, a level of hypervigilance, just having your guard up, waiting for the next thing to go down, waiting for the next tragedy, the next bad news. And then we think about all the ways that we seem like in society with social media, our need to be right, our need to be driving the right car, have the right zip code, have the right vacations, have all the right things to the world that look a certain way and how exhausting that can be. And I know that we all, to varying degrees, know exactly what it feels like to have your vigilance in such a hyper alert space that you constantly are hoping you're doing okay for yourself and, you know, the way the world looks at you, hoping you're doing okay for that too. And that hyper vigilance is exhausting. Studies are showing that level of hyper vigilance, having your guard up, trying to be right, trying to navigate, trying to do all the things that you think you need to do every single day to keep up is causing us to shorten our life expectancy. It's damaging our telomeres. It's, it's damaging our, our psyche. It's damaging our emotions. It's just, it's too tired to keep running. It's too scared to stop. And it reminds me of a time in my life 30 years ago when I was just completing a 30-day meditation, 30 days of silence, 30 days of 12 to 14 hours a day of sitting and meditating and being with myself, which was so hard. A few moments of liberation and then hours of just, oh my goodness, there's so much I need to work on, so much I'm striving for, so much I need to surrender for, so much work that I have to do on myself. And after finishing those 30 days, I had a chance to sit with a meditation teacher and ask a question. And there I was, 25 years old, trying to figure out what I wanted to be doing next. And I said to the med meditation teacher, I said, I don't know what to do now. I've been sitting by myself for 30 days stripping away layers of stuff, stripping, stripping away stuff that, you know, was all about being not enough and chronically feeling like I couldn't measure up and then working through these processes of trying to find peace. And then he said to me, don't strive, be a rose. Simply be a rose. He encouraged me to consider that when you walk into a beautiful garden and you're just kind of noticing all the beautiful things, you'll come upon a rose and you'll be struck by its beauty, its isness, its roseness. Not about saying, hey, I'm a rose, look at me, I'm beautiful, I got it going on, I'm in bloom. The rose just is. And you are drawn to its beauty just because it's absolute presence of being a rose. It doesn't have to do anything, it just participates in its beauty. He said, do not be afraid to go out in the world and be a rose. You don't have to call attention to yourself. You don't have to do anything extraordinary because who you are is extraordinary in its being. Put down your guard and just allow your beauty to come through. Wow, what does that bring up for you? Can you imagine if you just put down your guard and let your beauty come through? You didn't have to be anything other than who you are because who you are is beautiful. Who you are is brilliant. Who you are is courageous in expressing this beauty, this brilliance, this possibility. So today, let us give ourselves permission to go out in the world and be a rose. Do not ask anything extraordinary because you are extraordinary in who you are. Put your guard down, open your heart, and allow yourself to be beautiful, brilliant, because it's who you are. So together we get a chance to go out and be participating in our roseness and creating a life that we love. Much love and many blessings to you. Have an awesome day.